So a client was telling me about all the things that he tried to last longer in bed. And one of those things was hypnosis. Now, John, for that's what we'll call him, he'd found a hypnotherapist in his hometown. And John felt a bit more comfortable going to see a male therapist, and that's fair enough. And on his website, the hypnotherapist listed the things he treated, fear of flying, stopping smoking, etc. And the list included sexual performance problems and premature ejaculation. And in the blurb on the website, it said that this was easy to resolve with hypnotherapy. So John went to see him and they had a chat and the therapy started. Now the hypnotherapist had a script for this particular problem and it began with getting John to relax, asking him to stare at a particular spot until his eyes felt heavy and then to close his eyes, relax deeper and listen. Now John felt nice and relaxed and he remembered the therapist talking about taking your time, like chewing food slowly, savouring a delicious meal and unwrapping a present, slowly peeling back the wrapping and building the anticipation of the gift within enjoying the ride and not rushing to the destination, etc. And that John could do this at any time. He had the power to always take his time when he wanted to. Now, if you've had hypnosis for premature ejaculation, you might have heard similar suggestions. Or if you've ever downloaded one of those hypnosis audios from the internet, this kind of thing may also sound familiar. Now, you might have got the same result as John, a relaxing experience, an interesting experience even, but it didn't make any difference at all. John continued to ejaculate within a minute or two, much sooner than he wanted. And you might have felt a bit disappointed about that, just like John did. Now, John had a couple more sessions with the hypnotherapist, but it was more of the same. Close your eyes, relax, listen to the same suggestions. The therapist said it might take time to start working. It was all about taking your time, but it just didn't work out. Now I'm not dissing hypnotherapy here. There are lots of different forms of hypnotherapy, lots of people offering it. I did hypnotherapy training about 15 years ago and I have used it in my own therapy now and again. And hypnotherapy for overcoming premature ejaculation, it might be worth a try. It's good to keep an open mind and all of that. But I'm not sure that this scripted approach is effective and whether that's sitting in a room with a hypnotherapist reading it to you or listening to it on an audio, it's too generic. And when these things don't work, it can reinforce the feeling of being stuck with a permanent problem. Because hypnosis, it does still have a certain mystique. We hear of people doing amazing things under hypnosis. And these hypnosis websites, they often offer a fast cure for premature ejaculation and sexual confidence issues. So if you've tried it, you might have been asking, well, why didn't it work for me? I must be really rubbish. It didn't work for me. Well, my answer to that would be, don't believe the hype. The hypno hype, if you like. Treating sexual difficulties usually requires more than just feeling relaxed and hearing positive suggestions and metaphors about taking your time. With early ejaculation, we're looking to overcome a difficulty that comes with layers of stress and worry. Guys are having to navigate the relationship stress and the self-doubt and the frustration at their own bodies and the feeling that other men are having brilliant sex for as long as they like and I'm not. So in therapy, we're looking to start making change and feel it working and build our confidence up and yes, relaxation and visualisation work, it has its place in making this change, along with learning skills. And these might be physical skills, ways to relax all the way down to our, to our pelvis, 
and, and some head game skills too, like noticing our arousal and our focus. So working with my clients, I tend to use a form of visualization and it's called guided imagery. And if you've taken my self-help course, you'll experience some of that there too. Now, guided imagery it is relaxing and it's, it's like a little meditation, if you like. And I suppose it does feel like hypnosis, but it's different to the scripts and the suggestions like you can always choose to slow down. I'm guiding you through a rehearsal, an actual run through of using the techniques that I show you first. So actually drawing on the benefits that you've already felt in your own body. Now this experiential stuff, it might not always be necessary. Just learning the correct techniques is sometimes all that guys need. But guided imagery, a guided experience, can help bridge the gap between learning and practicing things on your own and bringing the benefits into the bedroom with your partner right where it matters. Guys who have always struggled with coming too soon, well, they don't have a template or a, a firm sense of what lasting intercourse feels like. Maybe they've got a glimpse, a memory of that one time four years ago when I was a bit pissed, but it feels remote. Guys don't have a feeling of sexual confidence to tap into and they can't really picture it. And it's hard to do something that we can't really envisage or imagine and probably won't do it for real. And having sex, it is a kind of trance state anyway, but for guys with performance anxiety, that's not a nice and relaxed trance state. They feel flooded with the same old thoughts and worries and they feel on edge and they're telling themselves to calm down, but ejaculation just seems to happen way too soon. So this experiential work is about shifting that state, being a bit more aware not getting overwhelmed by all the physical sensations of sex. And I don't think that happens by listening to a script about unwrapping presents or winning marathons or eating your dinner more slowly. And I do get what these metaphors are meant to do. They're about delaying gratification, but this doesn't equip men with the ways, the techniques to actually delay ejaculation. The scripts usually say, your body naturally knows what to do, how to slow down. But for a lot of guys who struggle with PE, that's not really the case. Their bodies don't know any different and they don't have the necessary skills. So therapy requires laying down those skills. I guess for men who experience acquired premature ejaculation, they were doing just fine and then something changed, then maybe being able to relax and trust your body is more appropriate. But I still think it's more helpful to look into the reasons why something changed. And then we cover all the bases. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, what can I do to help myself last longer? Or if you're considering hypnosis in some form, yes, make use of things that help you find relaxation in your mind and body headspace and exhale and relax now. Apps like that, breathing techniques, mindfulness, podcasts. And you can take a look at Andrew Huberman's excellent channel on YouTube. These are some good things to get into for lowering stress, managing your excitement. And there's lots of benefits to these skills in and out of the bedroom. And I should add that hypnosis can be helpful for addictions and phobias, um, stopping biting your nails or feeling able to get onto a plane or take your driving test. Hypnotherapy works best when it's personalized, drawing on the client's own resources, using metaphors and, and reframes that the client can actually relate to. And hypnosis like therapies for past trauma can be effective too. And I have worked with a couple of people whose sexual difficulties resulted from traumatic experience. But for most men experiencing premature ejaculation, that $30 hypnosis download or 
going to see the hypnotherapist who has a script and a special voice for talking slowly to your subconscious, it might not cut it. It's relaxing, yes, but it's not equipping or changing anything for the vast majority of guys. In some ways, I think this hypnosis script approach, I think it's stuck in the past. We found that hypnotherapy is more effective when it's interactive, when the therapist and the client work together on a tailored approach. So if you're interested in hypnosis and the modern application of it, you can see the work of Michael Yapko. This interactive approach, it needs to consider the client's sexual history, their current relationship status, what does their partner think, how much do they communicate, what has the guy already tried to fix the problem, things like that. And then they've laid the foundations for some successful trance work. So I think if you're reaching out to a hypnotherapist, ask the questions that you would ask any therapist really. How much have you worked with male sexual difficulties? What's your expertise? And if it's hypnotherapy that's on offer, what form does that take? Do you read from prepared scripts? How interactive will the sessions be? Now you can tell me if I'm being dismissive here, and I appreciate I've gone on a bit of a rant. If hypnosis or hypnotherapy worked for you and helped you to overcome premature ejaculation, then drop me a comment and I will be all ears. By the way, what worked for John, in case you're wondering, was some straightforward sex therapy. We recognised that him and his girlfriend, they just weren't communicating what they wanted from sex, so he was mind reading her needs and he was putting himself under masses of pressure to make intercourse the main event. And his body did naturally tend to come quite quickly, so a bit of skill building was necessary so that he could read his internal signals more effectively. He was getting too close to the point of no return it was too late to do anything about it. And that was just adding to the stress. So we did do some relaxation and some rehearsal on this just to help bed all the learning in. And John felt that this helped with his confidence. And to his credit, he'd been able to stay open to trying things, even with a few disappointments along the way. And it's all a growth experience. So I hope this has been helpful for you and thank you for watching. If you have any questions about premature ejaculation or sexual confidence in general, please feel free to get in touch. And my website is linked in the description below. And you'll find lots more advice in my Bang On Time self-help course, which teaches the essential skills for managing your sexual excitement and enjoying sex for longer. And there's a link to that in the description too, guaranteed. Also remember that I'm a therapist sharing my opinions and general advice, but this is no substitute for going to see your own GP or doctor. So if you have any concerns about health or your sexual health, you should go and get a medical checkup and take some advice. Thank you very much for watching.